Happy Easter. Hmm. Wasn't Easter yesterday? Let me see. Well, yes, we did celebrate Easter Sunday yesterday, and today is Monday, or whatever day that you happen to be watching this. But did you know that Easter doesn't last one day, or two days, or three days, or even 40 days like Lent? We celebrate Easter for 50 days. That's a long time, isn't it? Well, how come? Isn't Easter just to celebrate the day that Jesus rose from the dead? Well, yes and no. Easter is a word that comes from another word that we might know, and that word is east. East is a direction, right? Maybe if, if someone is watching this with you, they can point what direction east is. East is the part is the direction in which the sun rises. In the morning, the sun comes up in the east. And you notice I have a little candle holder here. There's not a candle in it, but this would be a good Easter candle holder because here's the sun. Now, why would Easter and East come from the same word? Well, think about the sun. The sun gives us light. It keeps us warm. The sunrise is beautiful. The sun is what makes plants grow. It gives us important vitamins that we need to live. If the sun didn't come up, we'd be in big trouble. And think about Jesus that same way. Jesus rose from the dead. We celebrated that yesterday. Just like the sun rises and brings us light and warmth and life, Jesus rose to give us life. Jesus is the true light of the world. Now, our reading today comes right after the one that we had yesterday. If you remember yesterday, the depending on what version of the story you use, in the version of the story that we read from Matthew, Jesus' mom and Mary Magdalene, who was a friend of Jesus, went to the tomb, to the grave, and it was empty. And the there was an angel there, and the angel said, go and tell the disciples that Jesus will meet them in Galilee. And they were afraid, but they were excited too, and they started running back. And as they were running back, they saw Jesus. And Jesus said, don't be afraid. Go and tell my friends, the disciples, that I'll meet them in Galilee. And today's reading happens right after that, that same day. The first part of the story happens the first thing in the morning. This happens in the evening, at night. When it was evening on that day, Easter day, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked because they were afraid. They locked themselves in a room, in the same room where they'd had the Last Supper with Jesus. All of a sudden, Jesus appeared among them. He just showed up. He didn't walk through the door. He was just there. And he said to them, Peace be with you. And the word that Jesus used would have been shalom. It's kind of a fun word. Say it with me. Shalom. Shalom works kind of like that Hawaiian word, aloha. Aloha means a lot of things. It means hello and goodbye. And when you see someone in Hawaii, you say aloha, whether you're coming or going. And shalom works that same way. It means hello. It means goodbye. It means peace be with you. But not just peace the way that we think of it, but peace as in, may everything be good for you. May you be healthy and, and feel good, and may things go well for you always. It's such a nice word. And we, in church, sometimes we share the peace, and that's what we're sharing. We're not just saying hi. We can say hi to each other before we go to church or when we see each other at Walmart or wherever. Shalom is deeper. 
Shalom means hello, I love you, I hope that things go well for you, or goodbye, take care, be safe, I love you. And that's what Jesus said to them. And the disciples said, yay, it's true, Jesus is really alive. They told us the women came back and said so, but we weren't sure, but now we see him. And Jesus says, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. And then he breathed on them. And that breath was the Holy Spirit. Jesus hadn't left them. And Jesus hasn't left us. Shalom, my friends, for the rest of this Easter season. Have a great day. And let's close with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for sending your son to live with us and to die for us. And for the gift of the Holy Spirit that surrounds us. You are with us always. And we love you. Amen. Have a great day.